This video will illustrate how to use Microsoft Excel to construct a Pareto chart to visually observe the number of errors and cumulative percentage of errors for an e-commerce retailer. Here's the data for our problem. An analysis of customer complaints at an e-commerce retailer revealed the information shown on the blue panel. A requirement is simple, to use the Excel Pareto template to construct a Pareto chart and then to discuss any conclusions we draw from it. So let's go ahead and open up the Pareto Excel template. First, what we can do is modify this chart to not only include the number of defects as bars, but also to include the accumulative percentage of errors. To do this, right-click on the chart, and in the contextual menu that pops up, you should see an item in the list that says Change Chart Type. Hover over, and the submenu should pop up with a list of new different chart types. Hover over the Statistical Chart category, and you should see one that includes both bars and a line graph all in one. Select it, and your chart should update to a proper Pareto chart. Now, if there's any data in the yellow cells, go ahead and delete it. And now let's enter the data from our problem. In column A of the yellow area, enter each of the different types of errors, including billing, shipping errors, electronic change, shipping delays, and packing errors. Then in column B, enter the number of errors corresponding to each type of error. So it'll be 1,421 for billing, 845 for shipping, 650 for electronic charge, 3,016 for shipping delays, and 1,879 for packing errors. And that's it, you've created your first Pareto chart. Here we can see that shipping delays, making up about 39% of the errors, and packing errors, accounting for another 24%, account for the majority of the customer complaints. Therefore, these should be the focus of improvement activities. If you fix these two root causes, you solve more than 60% of customer complaints. Pareto charts are a great way to help focus management efforts to make changes in quality improvements by identifying the biggest contributors to defects or errors or root causes and by prioritizing those items first.